<laughs> Welcome back. In the studio today is Penny Ellis and Keevan Ellis, and they, their last names are spelled the same, but they tell us they are not related in any way, but they look, they look like, like identical twins to me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show, guys. Now you're representing the Twin Lakes Literacy Council. Yes. And you want to focus on dyslexia today, or as I would call it, lysdexia, or somebody <laughs> that had dyslexia. And that's, that's a common thing for people that, that have. They, they superimpose words or letters they backwards, do, yes. and they backwards. read backwards and think, think uh, I, weird ways, yeah. Yes. Um, we have a number of programs at the Literacy Council, but with the Barton Reading Program is the one we wanted to talk about today mm -hmm. because dyslexia is so common, and mm -hmm. so many people don't know that it's common. 20% of the population is affected either mildly or profoundly. Mm -hmm. 20%. And although that can be a problem, we have a program, there are a number of programs that work for it. We have a wonderful program called Barton Reading that works really, really well for yeah. it. And all of our <coughs> programs at the Literacy Council are free. Yeah. This works for adults and children both. Is there a, a relation, I'm, this is, I didn't pre-ask you this, is there a relationship between ADHD and dyslexia? Sometimes they can have that too. Uh -huh. Fortunately for me, he can focus a whole hour. <laughs> <laughs> but he's it been a like great kid to work with. <laughs> but they can have other things too. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. Now, is dyslexia usually uh, identified through the school system or through a doctor? Fortunately, they have started screening for it. There was legislation in 2013 mm -hmm. they had to start screening, but that just started. There are many people Th that have gone all the way through, never been identified, right. mm -hmm. adults that were told they were mm -hmm. dumb and lazy and right. made to feel right. terrible about themselves, now, when and you, they're really bright. When, when you went to school, and me too, they didn't have testing no, at all. No, we just, were, those kids were considered dumb. Yeah, well, I was probably part of that group. So let's talk about the program. Uh, d d how can somebody, do, do you need to get tested before you get involved um, with this? The school does screening. We do not okay. do the screening. Okay. Uh, many of our people are referred to us from the school system, but we have adults. This program works with adults too. Mm -hmm. um, you need to call the literacy council in order to mm -hmm. um, make an appointment for that. But the program has 10 levels. They don't correspond to grade levels. They start with phonemes, the listing for sounds, m, mm, a, eh, Mm, man, because sometimes, well, with dyslexic, they don't hear those individual sounds. Mm -hmm. So they learn to break down the sounds, and then you start adding uh, digraphs and uh, your short vowels and long vowels and prefixes right. and suffixes. All you build. It so builds it's, up. it's all based on learning and reading and comprehension and well, and they all that, they or? learn to break the sounds and um, pronounce the words uh -huh. and spell them. Keevan yeah. can now spell words he doesn't even know what they meant. Yeah. <laughs> okay, just by the, by the word look. He's, the, he's the way learned it looks. to yeah. sound them out. Yeah. He's been doing this, um, how long have you been doing that? Two and a half years. Right. Two and a half years. So, so this is part of the program uh, in, in that you slow people down to teach them? They learn how to break down the sounds because yeah. dyslexics can't hear those individual sounds. It's so it's a hearing work. thing too? It, when it's not or really- the understanding of- Not physically hearing. Okay. What it is with dyslexia is they're wired differently. Mm -hmm. okay. There's a difference in the neurological wiring. Mm -hmm. yeah. This program works with that and builds new um, Whatever Pathways connections or connections of pathways. yes yes and so do you do you actually see improvement oh yes okay yes yes what tell them what you were doing what you were reading when you first came what I was reading before I came before I came to uh, Twin Lakes yeah well reading what I was reading was literally nothing I couldn't read um I couldn't read any books I could probably only I could kind of read the level one books at the time, and those were for like, you know, seven stuff, which I was nine or eight at the time, and I couldn't even read those level one books. Okay. And he is reading well now, and mm. he knows what he's reading. Um, and oh. we're, we're at six, and he's going through okay. till 10, and uh, he'll so really be not, reading not well by then. Not only to learn how to see the words and understand them, but, but there's a, a, a comprehension 
of what he's reading is what you said. He too. comprehends well. Yeah. Now there might be some students who don't comprehend mm -hmm. well, but he does. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I'd like to say about dyslexia too, um, these students are usually very bright and they have other gifts too. They're very often creative. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're good at math, not if they have dyscalculia, they aren't. But if they're uh, not affected by that, they might be good at yeah. math. They're good at 3D kinds of right. things. Uh, they're gifted in ways that so-called normal people aren't. Right. And, and so then when they get this, they've got lots of gifts going for So it's cool not to be normal, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you could say and that. they're okay. good at gaming. Uh, this, ga yeah. this Barton program has games that support it. It's uh -huh. a wonderful program. It's very rich. He always beats me at the game. Except <laughs> the other day, he was so tired, I got to beat for the right. first time. But because his gaming skills are good, and he knows how to think ahead and plan, and he's a sharp kid. Have, have you Go been ahead. able to tell a difference in school mm -hmm. since you've been going? What grade are you in now? Six. Sixth grade. So do you feel like that you're reading uh, where with the rest of the kids in your class now or actually I'm homeschooled okay and so we do math and all of that and sometimes we'll have to I forget sometimes of what we're doing so I have to read through the um, lesson of what to do and sometimes and when used to I couldn't even know what to do about that but now I can read it myself and understand it you feel a lot more you feel better about yes about your ability to be able to keep up now in school and yes mm. so, so how, well. can, how can people get involved with the program what do uh, they do if, first if they have a question about it they can call the literacy council 425-7223 mm -hmm. and there's a support group that the parents have started now that's not part of the literacy council mm -hmm. that's the uh, support the parent support group and they work with them too so that's another thing and if they want to know more about dyslexia they can go to bartonreading.com and there are little videos that explain to them how to um, look for the different symptoms okay. of it um, tells about the program all kinds of things okay. on that and adults, too. Com. adults too can can refer themselves yes this is a yes mm -hmm but they need to call of literacy council. Okay, how long does the program last? Is it this con ongoing? Or? This takes quite a long time for one, for one student. Now we've been working at it and, and he's a good student that can work an hour. Uh -huh. A lot of kids can't do that. Uh -huh. uh, and we're at, in the middle of level six and he's been working a little over two and a half years. So oh, this takes a while. They and have is to it work one, hard. One, one once a week or has Tw twice, twice a week, week? Okay. an hour, and our program is one on one. Mm -hmm. Now some people might take longer than that. Or an adult that's trying to do this around a job and wants to get done might put in extra time and yeah. go faster. Okay. It's individualized. Okay. But you can work around an adult's work schedule yes. for appointments yes. and things. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Well, that's great. A lot of people out there that can use your service. Yeah. Yes, there are. Twenty percent of the population. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, we appreciate you being here. Thank you. Great thank information. you for having us. Yes, yes. and uh, keep it, uh, keep up the good work. Thank you. And if you ever not want my job, I'll, I'll give it up any time you want it. Please, Kevin, <laughs> keep that in mind. He probably would like to do that. Yes, sometime. that would be Maybe wonderful. Maybe we should do that sometime. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Up next, we're going to be talking with D Duncan Clayton from Nature's Way. And we'll be talking, getting an update from him about what his business is doing. We'll find out all about that in just a few minutes. Stay with us. <laughs>